It has been a long time coming, but the Greenfield Bridge opens this weekend. The finishing touches were made today, and there are lots of festivities planned for the reopening tomorrow evening. John Shumway is live with the story. John. You know, you all just called it the reopening, and everybody's calling it the reopening, but the reality is this is a brand new bridge, and it's a lot different. For instance, there's a bike lane. Here's a northbound lane. Here's a southbound lane. Here's another southbound lane sharing with a bike lane, and that is a much wider sidewalk. All dressed up and ready for a party, it's the Beechwood Boulevard Greenfield Bridge 2. Rising out of the dust in the footprint of its predecessor, the single span bridge is a bit wider with three lanes of traffic, bike lanes, and a wider sidewalk. For the folks who live in this neighborhood, it's more than just an important commuting link to Oakland. Just the connection from here to Shenley Park is one thing. That's somebody's daily life, their daily routine, just going to the park, enjoying the park itself. Today's final inspection revealed a few items for the so-called punch list to be completed on the job. Are any of those punch list items that need to be taken care of significant enough that it would keep the bridge from reopening? No, we don't. We have that all covered. Today was all about finishing touches, including the fine points of returning the bridge's original monuments. The ones on the inside facing the inside are the originals. The ones on the outside are the reproductions. We don't want to forget our past, and we don't want to forget, you know, what this bridge meant. But before it carries traffic, there is some partying to do. Starting with a one-mile run across the bridge into the park tomorrow morning, then Zumba and trike races on the bridge and adult-sized big wheels. But well, we are doing a miniature golf. Food trucks will be here as well, and there will be bands playing from noon till dusk. We will be cutting the ribbon in the dark, and when the ribbon is cut, everything will light up. Then a final inspection on Sunday morning, and the bridge will get to work, bringing with it high expectations. Businesses will hopefully start thriving again. You know, we'll see more visitors into the neighborhood, and, and it's beautiful. And the folks from Lux Creative have donated the lighting to light the bridge up for the weekend and decided that since the lights were here, why not light it up tonight? So if you're going to be driving on the parkway east, don't be surprised. This thing's going to look like a Christmas tree. Those things are pretty doggone bright. The fun starts here tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock with that run across the bridge. And there is stuff for the entire family all day long leading up to that ribbon cutting at dusk. Live on the bridge, John Shumway, KDKA TV News. All right, John, thanks.